All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna launch some pop cans, some soda cans at about 100 miles per hour at uh, our local marketplace shingles. Um, and we're gonna see how they withstand. So what we got is we got some Owens Corning Duration, we got some GAF Timberline, we got some Malarkey Vista on the other side there, we got some Tamco on this side. And then what we got over here, we got some Owens Corning Oak Ridge, we're gonna bring up there in a little bit. We have some Ico Cambridge, we have some Certainty Landmarks right there, and then we have some Malarkey uh, Highlanders. All right, so uh, let's get to it and see what happens. Owens Corning Duration. Okay, so I launched two cans at the Owens Corning. Uh, there's the Owens Corning right there. So uh, the first one hit a little bit low, but definitely gave a really nice little indentation here. And then the second one, second one hit up here. And actually this, the second one sheared itself apart. So uh, this is the Owens Corning uh, duration. So we'll keep on going. Tamco Heritage. All right, here's uh, Tamco. Just got done hitting it. Actually, it kind of had a double hit. It had a, one up here and then it had a bigger gouge down there. So I don't know which way it ricocheted first, but that one got hit pretty good. Malarkey Vista. Okay, here's the uh, Malarkey Vista, which is actually a class three impact resistant shingle anyways. So um, the splatter is right in this area. The splatter, I mean the Mountain Dew that I'm using. Uh, no, no indentations, no marks whatsoever on the uh, Malarkey Vista. GAF Timberline. Okay, here's the GAF uh, Timberline HD shingle and woof, uh, that's something. Okay, to sum up the first four, so I started with the duration. All right, so you can see it there, and it's kind of weird now that it's kind of dried from the pop. More things are standing out in these shingles, so you see it there, and then actually there's a whole bunch right there too. Um, so that's the duration. Okay, here's the Tamco, and as I said, when it dries, you can really see the marks. So you got some down there, you got some blemishes. Yeah, this one's really got beat up from that. So this is the Tamco. Here's the Malarkey. Okay, Malarkey did not have anything. It hit, it hit up here in the upper quadrant. That's where I'm aiming for everything, so nothing was hit there. And then I left in the shadows the Timberline because that's just the easiest to see where it just kind of got destroyed. So those are the uh, first four roundup with the Owens Corning Duration, the Tamco, uh, the Malarkey Vista, and the GAF Timberline HD. Now for round two. Certainty Landmark. The uh, Certainty Landmark. See right there, nice big old hit from it. Malarkey Highlander. All right, now this one's awesome. Look at that. So this is the Malarkey Highlander. The can exploded down here, no damage. Blew the can up to here. That's incredible. So it didn't blow off the shingle, it hit the shingle, didn't cause any damage, and <laughs> blew the can up. That's, that's a pretty good test right there. Ico Cambridge. Okay, so here's the Ico Cambridge. Um, unlike the Malarkey Highlander, it just, that went off. Um, that's existing, that's installation, so. This one hit, damaged, and then embedded itself into it. So, yeah, just the uh, Cambridge, did, the ICO did not stand up very well to that. Owens Corning Oak Ridge. 
Okay, here's uh, Owens Corning Oak Ridge. Um, that kind of just speaks for itself right there. Okay, so round two was uh, Malarkey. Now this is the Malarkey Highlander, so I want to emphasize that because this actually doesn't have a class impact resistance to it, but yet it still withstands it. Um, so then we had the Owens Corning Oak Ridge, which had one of the biggest dents in there. Then we had the landmark, the certainty landmark, which got hit pretty good there. Not uh, not a bad blemish, as bad compared to Owens Corning Oak Ridge or the Ico Cambridge got nailed too. Okay, so wrapping up our Can Cannon impact uh, resistance test on these shingles on these eight manufacturers. Well, I'm sorry, six manufacturers, because a couple had two different ones in there, Owens Corning and Malarkey had in there. So Malarkey Highlander and the Vista clearly won. Uh, no damage to them whatsoever, with a can being fired at 100 miles per hour. Um, so if you've had in the past a storm damage for hail damage or anything like that, uh, you may really want to consider a Malarkey product because if you pay your deductible once, you don't want to have to pay for it again. So these shingles, the Markey shingles, come in at the same price point as the other manufacturers, the Owens Corning Oak Ridge. So let's, let's compare the Malarkey Highlander. That, that's your standard level beginner uh, shingle, and that's going to come in as your Owens Corning Oak Ridge price point, your GAF Timberline, your Ico Cambridge, your Tamcos. That, that's going to be at the same price point as those shingles. Um, then a step up is your Malarkey Vista, which gives you the Class 3 impact resistance, which you might be able to get something off of your homeowner's insurance with. Uh, that's going to be comparable at the same price point as your uh, Certainty Landmark Pro or your, um, I keep them pointing over there, sorry, or your Owens Corning Duration. So the, you have the same price points, so might as well get a shingle that's going to last. Uh, everyone has limited lifetime warranties and some manufacturers offer uh, warranty enhancements to make them pure 100% lifetime. But if you got to pay for it to be fixed again because of storm damage, why? Why not just go with a manufacturer that you're not going to have to do that with? So uh, my vote definitely is going to be for Malarkey's, either the Highlander and or the, uh, the Vista. Um, also, watch our other videos on Malarkey. Uh, their green sustainability is incredible as to what they're doing for the, to help the environment out. So uh, really watch those. So thanks for watching, and I, I hope this was helpful. It, it was kind of fun on my part, too. So thanks. Have a great day.